What do I have here is some content wrapped inside a footer tag. I search for footer right here. This is the highlighted result. If I select that, you see the whole content of this footer. A footer tag defines the footer for a document or a section. So in our case, we have a footer at the bottom of this page, which is used to define a footer for a document or a section. You will see a result when footer is used inside an article. It can also be used inside the section. Okay, what type of content we have here at this footer for a document? We have a sitemap which includes all of the links for the smashingmagazine.com website. We have also some copyright information so that include the year of creation and the creator. And we have some other links that can help. You can consider them as some links that can help you to go to some information about the document or some information about the website. And we can also have this back to top inside the footer. And all of this content is the type of content that can be used inside the footer tag. We can also put authorship information, uh, contact information, or related documents. So it depends. But in our case, this is the type of content used. As I already said, the footer tag can also be used inside an article or a section. So in our case, okay, let's just find for some other footers right here. And what do I have? I have 11 results, which means that I have 11 footers within the same document. We saw an example of a footer which is used at the bottom of the page to put some information about the document. And this is the footer document. We also have some other ones. Okay, let's just check the first one. This is the first one inside the article tag. On each article, we have a footer. We have multiple articles, which means that we have 10 articles and all of them has a footer which includes a reading time and the link. The rule here that you can use several footer elements in a document and not only one. From the previous lessons, we used the header tag in order to include all of the repeated content and we use the main tag so to include the unique content when I have some articles. At the bottom, I will add the last one which is the footer and in our case, I will use the footer for a document. Okay. Footer. We can also use a footer. Let's just put that at the bottom here. Footer. Then I'll add, for example, reading time. 12 minutes read. Okay, let's just copy that and I'll use it on the previous one. Now I have a footer inside the articles. This is the first use case and the second use case. I use it at the bottom of the page to include some information about the page. Now we have a well-structured website when we have the header. Okay, let's just collapse that. And we have the main and the footer and it is well-structured. 